Hey guys, it's me, Sarah, and today I am wearing my Christmas hat because I am planning on doing a what I got for Christmas video because this year my parents really went above and beyond and were amazing and I think it's because it's my 18th like Christmas or my last Christmas before I go to college. They kind of got me a lot of like really cool stuff that I've always kind of wanted and yeah, I thought I'd show you guys because I love watching these myself so I mean like why not? I haven't posted a video in a very long time and this is a good way to kind of get back into the whole um, groove of it. So why don't we go right into it? So the first thing I got was from my uncle, which is always a wonderful gift, are the Seas Candies, famous old time candies, which come with, I already literally ate all of them, but it comes with a bunch of chocolates. Let me find a good one. And my favorite kind of candy is toffee. So, and these ones come with a bunch of toffee. This guy's good. Mm hmm. This is always a good gift. Chocolate is a great gift, okay? Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll hide it, wait, wait. You can see a whole pile. Snap. It's supposed to be a surprise. This is one gift. Okay. Gwift? Gwift. Gwift. But every year I make a Christmas list. I usually know what to expect under the tree. And like as I was like shaking my gifts in the box like everyone does, I kind of could tell what each thing was. Then I shook this and I was like, what the heck is this? Like I didn't ask for this. But it's actually a super cool gift. I got wireless headphones, not beats, nothing else. I just got the Sony Extra Bass Wireless Sans Fill. I don't know, but it's always cool. My mom said this is like kind of a thing I can use in college, which will be kind of cool. But here's my problem. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but all the small pe ear people will understand. I have really small ears, especially this one. Like it's so fucking small. And those headphones, like anytime I go to the gym, anytime I'm doing anything, if I want to run with like little headphones in my ears, it'll always fall out. I don't know if this happens to everyone, but like my small ears, I feel like that's the reason why, which is so frustrating. So yeah, this is a great gift for us small eared people. And the sound is amazing. I was listening. I went to the Muse concert the other night at the Staples Center, which was fantastic. And I was kind of in a whole, like, Muse fix after that. So I listened to the whole album on this. Their whole new album. It's wonderful. So good. All right, next thing is kind of an awesome gift. Wait. And they're Dior, so it was kind of a splurge. Like a huge splurge. But they're so beautiful. How stunning are those? So yeah, my glasses. And they are a prescription. I didn't just get like random ones. And they come in a really cute box too. The next thing I got, which is so awesome, I'm filming on it right now because I don't have a nice camera set. It's my iPhone 6S. Where does it say it? And I got it in the rose gold color. You can't see it because I'm filming with it right now, but everyone's seen like the iPhone success in rose gold. My mom got it for me. It's fantastic. It has wonderful quality as you can see. And yeah, I'm gonna be filming on it now until I get myself a little camera. I should have asked for that for Christmas. What can you do? The next thing I got, this is from my friend Alyssa. She works at Tilly's, so. I think she got it from her work, which is just super cute. You know those like blanket jackets that everyone has? Well, I got like a blanket vest. You really cannot tell what it looks like. But I wore this to Disneyland the other day. It's like this. Wait. Oh, wait. It just like ripped a little bit. But it's like that. And it's like really cute. A cute layering piece. Like you put, um, I put my big like green army jacket over it. So only like the fur like part was showing. And it's so cozy. And the thing is, in LA, it's been like literally 50 degrees, which is not what I like. I'm used to nice 80 degree weather. What is this? So I was at Disneyland. It was 50 degrees, raining. I was like, oh my God, kill me now. But then I had this to put on, and it was so warm. And I was like, yay. So thank you, Alyssa. This thing is awesome. Okay. I asked for a lot of clothes from free people because if I'm being honest, like free people is like my number one clothing place. So they all came in little bags like this, which are super cute. I have like eight of these, literally eight. Do you see these? How cute are they? I don't know how, what you can use them for because it's like a weird, like kind of, I don't know, but it's really cute. So I got a few items. 
in each bag. So the first thing I got, I asked for, was, I don't, this isn't real leather, so don't go crazy on me. It's vegan leather, or it's not, like, it's pleather, I don't know, it's not leather. It's just this mini skirt, which is just super cute, and I thought it'd be super cute on New Year's. And it has a little zipper in the back, and the material is just so nice. It's made so beautifully. Everything they do is just done so beautifully. And it's not like they're, like, ridiculously expensive. They just, like, it's, like, a good price for good clothing, so... I got this because I feel like a little black skirt is something you can wear like a lot of like shirts with and like maybe some booties and it'd be really really cute so yeah got this skirt and then this would kind of really go cute with the skirt actually I don't know if you can tell what it looks like but it's kind of cropped you'd wear this with like high weight high waisted stuff like high waisted jeans ripped jeans with this would be super cute the arms flare out like this and it's like one of those like wrap tops it's wrinkly right now so yeah, that was in that bag. And then I took everything else out of the bags, but like I got a bunch of them, which they're gonna be handy for other stuff. Okay, so this might just be my favorite thing I got from Free People. It is so cute. I haven't tried it on yet because I'm scared. Like it might be a little too long on me or like not cute, but it's so cute. Oh. How cute is this shit? How cute. Look at the little detailings on the side. It's basically just a denim mini skirt. Does it not look like it'd be a little too long on me? I don't know. Because I'm not I'm not tall. I'm very short. Not very short. I'm 5'5". Five five. My legs are very short. Like, I got a long torso and short legs. So, I don't know. But they're, it's just so cute. It looked cute with some, like, beige booties or, like... I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, but... I love this skirt so, so much. Yeah, love it. Okay, this is a little dirty because I wore it on the night of Christmas. Why does everything something smell so good? Does anyone else love the smell of laundry? Because I love the smell of laundry and I smell laundry, even though this isn't laundry, but what, it's this. Oh. <laughs> I love that smell. Okay. This is also kind of weird to show you guys because it's like it's like you have to see it on to understand what it looks like. So I think I'm going to take videos of what it looks like. But it's like one of those off the shoulder shirts like that. And it's just like that basically. It's really plain and simple off the shoulder. It gives you, it's very figure flattering. Like showing off the shoulders and like the collarbones. I love it. So, and it goes with a lot. It's black. That with the mini skirt would be super cute. With like some cute jewelry. Okay, so this is a very popular style of shirt and people have them in black like you see them everywhere but free people has this one and they have a bunch of colors again you have to see this on to really understand but i think you guys all know what this looks like it's like the chest is like crisscross and it's like a tight shirt so i got it in this little beigey color because i don't have that much beige and i thought it would look kind of really cute with the mini skirt like that'd be like a cute outfit right right yes so yeah i got this shirt and i'll try them on for you guys and then the last clothing item I got from Free People, again, would look super cute with this shirt. And I wore these the other day, so they might be dirty. Are just some boyfriend jeans. They're like that. They're really cute. They're actually Levi's. Um, yeah, I really like them. The wash is like a nice color. I like lighter wash jeans anyways. So that's, that's all the clothes. I literally said that's. And all the clothes actually came with one of the huge ass tote bags, which is awesome. Cause like when I go to sleepovers or something, I used to, I like to take all my shit in this, but I had a bit of a mishap. I ended up putting all of my free people bags in the washer and they all shrunk. So now I have like little mini bags, which is kind of cute. So now I have what <laughs> I can't talk. I have this once again, which is nice. Cause I can carry literally all of that shit in there. And then the last thing that's not clothes that I got for free people, but this is actually probably my favorite thing that I got for Christmas. Because your girl loves shoes. I love shoes. So I got some Jeffrey Campbells, but from, like, through free people. And on the box it says, we accept the shoes we feel we deserve. How cute. It's true, though. And I know I deserve these boots. Okay, let me just, just get ready. are these how freaking and it's not real snake skin guys don't worry 
They're like suede. Mm. They have like a really cute metal design on the back. I'm in love with them. In love. But the problem is, I currently have a broken foot. So I've been wearing one boot at a time. Is it this one? It's this boot that I wear. I've only worn them once on Christmas. But they're so cute. I wore this with this, the boyfriend jeans, and the off the shoulder black top. It was like a really simple but like cute look. So on to like the last basically gift kind of thing. It's getting dark outside. So I'm hoping the sun doesn't send y'all. Because I don't have lighting either. I need to invest more into this. Because you know what? I'm going to put more time into this. I love doing this. Okay, the next thing I got, um, it was my dad's gift. He's not like... He, my dad's a lot older than a lot of dads are, so he's not really really into like, he doesn't really know what my generation's into, and he doesn't, like, for instance, he doesn't use an iPhone, he has a flip phone. I love him, I love him to death, but like, he just doesn't like, if I gave him a list of stuff, he wouldn't know what the shops were or anything. So I basically told him, Dad, just get me, please get me a gift card to Sephora, it doesn't matter how much, like, anything will be fine. So, the amazing man that he is, he got me a $200 gift card to Sephora which was awesome. So this is kind of like a little Sephora haul too. So my total actually came out to 197. So I was close to I was close. What was that? I was close to the I have $3 left basically. So let me just tell you guys what I bought. So the first thing, I went in going for like two specific products, but you know, everyone knows, you don't go into Sephora and you only buy two products, you go in there and if you have $200 to spend at Sephora, you're going to spend that whole $200 and not on a lot of stuff because makeup is fucking expensive. It sucks, but it's true. So I guess getting them, when you get them, it's a wonderful feeling, but then you're like, shit, I just spent $200 on literally six products. Anyways, the first thing I went in going for... I've been through a shitload of experience with my foundations. I've had ones I hate, ones I love, ones that are just like, why did I even buy this? And the one foundation that I've always gone back to that is my tried and true foundation that I love is the NARS Sheer Glow. Is the NARS is the NARS Sheer Glow. I've tried the NARS Luminous All Day foundation or whatever. NARS Sheer, Sheer Glow beats it by a bunch my only downside to this is the packaging is super freaking small so it runs out like super quick and doesn't have a pump but i uh, that's that doesn't bother me that much but if you can compare like that's the size of the packaging like but yeah um i got this in the color punjab punjab is that indian it sounds indian punjab but um let, to give you an example of like how it's handled here's the nars luminous this is what i wear in summer it's really dirty and this is what I wear now and this is in Syracuse I get so tan and then at one point wait, wait, wait. at one point I was the color of the Kat Von D foundation you see here this is in medium 62 do you see this and now I'm here do you see the difference here Pro olive skin problems you get so dark and then you get so light it's ridiculous I can get very pale in winter but yeah, so I'm at Punjab right now, and this is the foundation I'm currently wearing. The, I just, I absolutely love the way it goes on the skin. It looks so beautiful. It's my favorite foundation by far. I've tried so many foundations, so many. This is the most amazing foundation I've ever used, so good job to NARS. To go along with the foundation, I also got my tried and true, very wonderful, amazing concealer that everybody loves. These are both like very like popular products, and it's like there's a reason because they're amazing, but... This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard, which I have been before. And this concealer is fan-fucking-tastic. It gives you a beautiful glow. The coverage is amazing. And it's not, like, crazy, like, caked on. It's very thin, but does a good job. Okay, so then I also, I was looking at the primers because I've run out of primer and I haven't been using a primer, which is kind of bad, but I don't really care. But, um, I previously tried, like, the sample size of the Laura Mercier, 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 I don't know. Don't judge me. Um, radiant primer and I went in getting that and I thought I bought that but I ended up buying I guess the regular oil free foundation powder primer and it comes in a cute little bottle like this this is a good amount for the price I paid this is $33 
and this is about 1.7 ounces it's a good amount it'll last I know this will last a good like three months probably um, yeah I really like the radiant one but um, so far this one's done a good job yeah, I kind of wish I got the radiant one but I don't really care I'm not gonna go back just to change it like I'll just try it whatever so the next thing is an also an, uh, I got a lot of face products another product from NARS and it is a blush and I saw this and I fell in love with the color I love like that bronzy like warm cheek pink glow so this is a color what color is this I don't know if you can see like close up but it has like little sparkles in it you might it's not orgasm guys it's unlawful and here I'll do a swatch of it I don't know if you can really see it's very faint but I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now and it gives you that beautiful bronzy glow but like with a little hint of pink in it I love it so yeah and it's very subtle I have like the most awkward freaking like is that a dimple? I don't know awkward if it is the next thing i got is also a tried and true product the one powder i love forever is the makeup forever hd powder it's just basically a translucent powder it's amazing i tried the nyx one that everyone like talks about i don't like it at all like at all you could see like i guess maybe you could say that i'm just not into a matte finish but the finish like you could see the powder and i just did not like that so I ended up using that powder um you know how that whole like that hack that you can um put the hack that you can put translucent powder on your um lipstick and it'll be a wait that was just so weird you know the hack where you can put translucent powder on your lips and it'll like become like a matte lip i used to i did that with that because it was pretty shitty it was good at that but everything else with that the next thing I got, this one has some personal connection to me. Um, I saw my friend Nicole has this lipstick. She's had it for a while and I always borrowed it. I'm like, shit, do you have this lipstick? I need it right now because I love the color. It's beautiful. And also the name of the lipstick is um, my mom's hometown. But I got the Bite Beauty Lipstick, Luminous Cream Lipstick. The packaging's kind of cool. I like the way that it's very futuristic in the color Shiraz because my mom is from Shiraz, Iran, and it's a cute name, plus it's a beautiful color. I'm wearing it right now, and I love that, like, mauve um, dark kind of purpley color, and that's exactly what this is. The packaging for it is really cool. I love it, and these aren't that expensive. They're 22, but it's so stunning. Do you see that? I, I kind of depigmented my lips, kind of, you could say, because I put some chapstick on after. But yeah, the cool thing about Bite Lipstick, but this is an all-natural lipstick, which kind of is like mind-blowing. I can't imagine a lipstick being all-natural. That's weird. But yeah, that was the last thing I got with that. And overall, I had a wonderful Christmas. My parents really, oh, I have one more thing. It's not really part of anything, just kind of part of the Sephora haul, I guess you could say. I finally became a VIB which is awesome. And for those of you who don't know what a VIB entails, I'll tell you. So it comes with this cute little card and it says, welcome to VIB. Your beauty addiction has officially paid off. And yes, I am aware. I'm very happy. And it comes with a bunch of things. Um, it's really cool. This is like hard. It comes with a 10% off shopping pass. So you get 10% off any purchase. Um, free shipping from anything online. And then a complimentary makeover, which to be honest, I'm not going to go to Sephora for a makeover. I just had friends go there and they get their makeup there and they're not happy with the results. I go there for just the makeup. But I, I'm going to use it, probably. But it's a cool gift anyways. Sephora, make me a VIB rouge, please. I want to be a VIB rouge. I became a VIB, which is awesome. Went up from a beauty insider to a VIB. And now, yeah. Yeah. And then the rest of the stuff from other family, I just got a lot of money, which was awesome. Because usually I don't get money. Like, I'm the youngest in my family. So a lot of the time, like, earlier than this year, like, pre previous to this year, I used to get a lot of, like, the kitty gifts. Like, I'd get, like, a big teddy bear or something. And it's like, guys, I'm 15. Or, guys, I'm 16. Well, now I'm 17. And they finally see me as almost an adult. And they got me money. So that was nice. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas and I will be posting a lot of makeup tutorials soon 
and the sky's looking really pretty. I have a really pretty view if you guys want to see. My room overlooks the freeway and you can see the sunset right now. But yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and have a happy new year. I may be doing a new year makeup tutorial because I always go all out like with the sparkles and everything on new year. So that'll be an interesting makeup tutorial and I love you guys. Thank you for watching even though a lot of you might not because this is a 30 minute video that I will edit. But um, yeah, thank you guys.